My name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we are here for another severe weather breakdown. Now today we're going to be talking about a severe storm that's going to bring problems for multiple days straight in portions of the deep south United States. We're going to be talking about when you need to watch out, what you need to watch out for, and more. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the SPCL look for today where we have a marginal risk of severe weather across portions of southeastern Texas and southwestern Louisiana. Now the tornado threat for today, you have a 2% chance to see a tornado in your town if you're in that green blob today that does include houston and lufkin in texas so look out for that damaging wind threat you have a five percent chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or higher today if you're in that brown area in your town so look out for that and then hail threat for today you have a five percent chance to see hail one inch or larger if you're in that brown blob today in your town so look out for that all elements are in play today all right nothing's really a huge risk factor but everything is possible so we'll have to watch out for the storm today moving on to tomorrow we have another marginal risk of severe weather this time extending over a good portion of southern dixie alley tornado threat for tomorrow you have a two percent chance to see a tornado in your town if you're in that green area tomorrow that extends all the way from mobile alabama almost back into houston texas so look out for that damaging wind threat for tomorrow you have a five percent chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or higher in your town if you're in that brown area tomorrow so look out for that and then finally hail threat for tomorrow you have a five percent chance to see hail one inch or larger tomorrow in your towns if you are in that brown area so look out for that I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but we go into Thursday and we have another marginal risk of severe weather across portions of Southern Dixie Alley, okay? So we're gonna have to just look out for the next few days. Nothing's really a major concern, but everything is possible, like I said earlier, okay? So we're just gonna have to watch out for it. And uh, I guess we could go ahead and take a look at it here on the NAM 3KM model. This is right now. We're starting to see some storms pop up here in portions of Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. These could reach severe status, maybe an isolated supercell or will pop up but it shouldn't be anything too major uh once we get into this evening we see more thunderstorm action in portions of east texas and northern louisiana so look out for that that will kind of move off to the northeast and then by tonight we could be looking at definitely a few storms reaching that severe status across portions of louisiana arkansas and texas still okay so this will continue to surge moisture out of the gulf of mexico into texas and we see on uh tomorrow morning early tomorrow morning we're going to be looking at a massive problem of thunderstorms here for portions of southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and maybe extreme eastern Texas still. This is when our main severe threat will pop off tomorrow morning, okay? That's when we're going to see a line of damaging thunderstorms potentially start to pop up here. Um, maybe not to uh, as an extreme as an MCS event, but possibly something similar to that, but weaker, if that makes sense, okay? So definitely a line of strong thunderstorms at the very least here, okay? And then we get into tomorrow afternoon. Mainly the problem there is for Mississippi, Louisiana, and portions of extreme southern Tennessee. Tomorrow evening, we get into, like, Alabama, okay? Maybe uh, Montgomery, Birmingham could be looking at some problems, all right? We go into tomorrow night. That line begins to weaken, but we're starting to see some more supercells pop up behind it in portions of Mississippi and Louisiana once again. Those will head off to the north and the east, create another damaging line of thunderstorms through portions of Louisiana, Texas, and Mississippi heading off to the east. Again, we're just gonna have to watch for the next few days the potential of uh, several lines of thunderstorms are going to be possible so just look out if you're in the deep south over the next few days here finally watches warnings and advisories we already have a few flash flood warnings ongoing here specifically near the Texarkana area here uh, and portions of Texas Arkansas and Louisiana okay so look out for that we're already seeing some extremely heavy rain starting to fall we have a massive flood watch in effect extending all the way from Georgia back into Illinois back down into Texas okay so definitely a big area of flood watches, several flood advisories, flood warnings as well, okay? A good chunk of air quality alerts up for portions of the Midwest and the Deep South after that last ice storm moved through, okay? So look out for that. Driving could be still pretty tricky in those areas uh, in some isolated locations. And then the purples are your winter weather advisories for where we could see some active snowfall, okay? So... Other than that, pretty calm right now, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I might be going live tonight covering winter storms once again, but if I don't, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.